Hello, I'm Dick Denby, non-executive chairman of Denby Transport of Lincoln. So, Dick, um, thank you very much for um, <laughs> agreeing to be uh, interviewed like this, for being our, our guinea pig and the first in this series. And I'm going to kick off by asking you, um, if you hadn't had a career in road haulage, what would you be doing? Well, almost certainly I'd have still been in the motor tyre industry. Right then, so uh, in your um, 82 years? Yes, 82 and a bit. What has been your proudest moment? I think the day I got married. married Good answer. Married the right girl, and she's married to me still. And, and what's her name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And um, in those same 82 years, your most embarrassing moment? <sighs> oh. Oh, probably when I made a real faux pas live on Radio 2. Oh, I thought you might say that. <laughs> You'd heard of that. <laughs> God, God, is it that infamous? Yeah. And I said, oh dear me, I shouldn't have said that, should I? I'm so sorry. And then it went out live. Yeah. Do you know? I, I was in my car at the time, I remember. Do you? Yeah. You heard it live? Yeah. Um, do you know, it's a funny thing. This is going to surprise you. I've never been invited back on Radio 2 <laughs> from, <laughs> from that day to this. <laughs> I think if ever they do, it'll have to be recorded, <coughs> not live. Now, Dick, I asked you to bring along four photographs that yep. mean something to you, and sure. we've got them here. Yep. I wonder if you could uh, talk us through them, please. Maybe starting with this, that this, one. This very shabby old one, taken at the back of the grandstand at Lincoln Race Course, and somewhere in the distance, on the older ones, you could just see the cathedral, but it's about faded out. Anyway, in 1947, the Act of Parliament was passed to nationalise road freight. So my father didn't know when, but he knew he'd got to go. So in the summer of, I think that'll be 47, but it more likely to be 48, he got all the lorries he could get together on a Sunday morning behind the grandstand at the race course and all the drivers he could get together and had this famous photograph taken. Right, now we've got this one, which um, I wrongly identified the truck, and uh, you've put me straight. It's an Austin, isn't it? It's an Austin. Um, it was taken on a bridge over the River Witham at the bottom end of Lincoln. It had to be a Sunday morning because it's pointing the wrong way against the traffic for the yeah. photograph. You wouldn't do that today. No, of course not. No. So, yes, that's an Austin. Beautiful old picture, this one. Ah. And that's a comma, yeah? Have I got that right? That's a comma. Yeah, good. I mean, I was almost certainly still at school when that was taken. My father's there with his pipe, as always. Um, we sold petrol as well as motor tyres. That was the company that I joined, although we rebuilt that lot in 55, when I'd finished two years' hard work for Her Majesty the Queen, what was called National Service. Yeah. And there's the last one here which looks uh, very Dad's Army. <laughs> yes, we had a lot of model lorries. We were giving them away, I suppose, to customers. And we had maps of France in the office and map of England. So Thank some bright spark said, ah, to illustrate we're an Anglo-French setup, why don't we do that? And that was uh -huh. it certainly works. Well, not very high tech, but I don't know whether we ever used it for publicity, but that's the story of it. Yeah. It's a simple one. If you could do it all again, would you? Well, I've had a wonderful life, really. I've been a very, 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 very lucky man. Oh, God, I have. So, yeah, I'd do it all again. Yeah, Brilliant. I would. <laughs>